Throughout history, chemical weapons have been used as strategic weaponry to devastate the enemy in times of war. After the mass destruction created by World War I and World War II, chemical weapons have been considered to be inhumane by most nations, and governments and organizations have undertaken to locate and destroy existing chemical weapons. However, not all nations have been willing to cooperate with disclosing or demilitarizing their inventory of chemical weapons. But if these weapons are so dangerous, how are they destroyed? What if they cause any accident while destroying? The process of destroying chemical weapons is divided into five steps. The first one is First, you have to separate the chemical agents from the non-chemical components of each weapon. Typically, this will involve breaking down each device into the munitions, like rockets and artillery shells. the chemical agents themselves, and in some cases, the rocket propellant that gives the weapons their explosive power. The chemical agents will be drained from the munitions that contain them, a process conducted primarily by specially designed robots, typically and ideally as part of an assembly line setup. The agents are then sent to a holding tank, The active chemical agents, having been isolated, are then destroyed. Possible methods for this depending on the composition of the weapons themselves and on the setting of the destruction. Usually there are two ways to destroy the chemical weapon. The first method to destroy chemical weapons is incineration. As its name suggests, the technique involves burning chemical agents in high-temperature liquid furnaces to deprive them of their biohazardous capabilities. And it works, the CDC explains, by converting chemical agents to ash, water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other products formed by combustion. When the liquid furnaces that allow it are accessible, incineration is generally the Department of Defense's preferred method for the destruction of chemical agents and munitions. The second method is called neutralization. This method takes liquid agents and places them in a mixing tank with either extremely hot water or a caustic reagent like sodium hydroxide. Some approaches mix the chemical agent with both materials. The reaction that results from this, chemical hydrolysis, destroys the toxicity of the agent. In the event that the munitions also include explosives or propellants, those agents are separated from the mix and are burned in a furnace that's especially outfitted to withstand explosive blasts. The furnace is known as a bang box. As for the munitions themselves, the containers of the chemical agents, those likely, even after drainage contain traces of hazardous materials. Incineration technology can be used to treat empty casings, thereby destroying any residual chemical agents, and for that matter, any residue of their breakdown which may also be hazardous. Typically, artillery shells and similar weapons casings are sent to furnaces that are specially designed for metal parts. So, that is the process of destroying chemical weapons. If you find this video informative, like this video and subscribe to our channel.